Here's a fun little drawing. It's called a surprise pig because actually he kind of looks surprised. You need a piece of paper in a horizontal orientation, your Sharpie for drawing, and watercolors for coloring, or markers, crayons, oil pastels, anything that you have. Okay, this is fairly easy. Let's start with some circles to the right side of your page. This will be pig's head. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Then we're gonna put his snout in here and two little nostrils. One, two, three, four circles so far. Okay, and then two eyes up here. Now what's gonna make him look surprised is the pupil stuck right in the center of his eye. That kind of looks surprised. And then let's do a mouth that goes, ooh. <laughs> ooh, I am surprised. <laughs> Look at all those circles. And remember, if, if you want to catch up, just uh, pause your videotape. Here's some ears. Pause your tape and then get back to it. Do the best you can. Now we're going to do his body. Starts out from the back of his head. It's an oval. It's going to come around and meet his chin. Yeah, the fat little piggy, huh? Now let's do his tail, which is up here at this end. And this is going to start with a little curve. In order to put meat on that little tail and to make it look a little fatter, we're going to do another line, a double line, and just follow that one around until it meets the point. And then his legs, which are straight lines and then connected with a horizontal line that's one we're going to do four and the the other legs in the other side of his body are a little bit shorter and this one will be down towards the ground and this one's a little bit shorter doesn't have to be perfect remember that now let's put his hooves on which are it's like a w down up down up down up down up and then down, up, down, up. Doesn't have to be perfect. There, that's it. That's the pig. Now you can create an environment for him or put him in a border and create all sorts of patterns or fun things in the picture. I'm going to make a border. Oops, I forgot. Let's do a pail. I like the pail on the outside. So let's do an oval. This is going to be his uh, where he gets his food. And then double that line on the outside of the pail. And make two straight lines that are slightly indented and curve around. Now let's do a handle. So there's a circle there and a circle there. This picture's made a lot of circles. An oval to connect that right there. So it's bent. That's what dark does. Okay, now I'm gonna continue my border. Skip, 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 and then I'm gonna come out behind the pail like this. Now you're welcome to color this any way you want. You can put a pattern in the pig. You can do clouds. You can do grass, you can do flowers. Let's do a few flowers. You can do birds, you know, do whatever you like. Okay, make it fun. All right, have fun. Here are a couple of samples. Here's a funny little pig. They put a butterfly in the sky and oh look, a blue pig. That's creative. And this is a pink pig, and they put a smile on him. He doesn't look so surprised. It looks like he's looking at rain clouds up there, but they have sun, clouds, a pail, flowers, and a pattern. And here's our good old surprise pig. Ooh, he looks kind of surprised. Okay, kids, have fun. Paint your pig. Bye.